Okay, so um, I bought some sand. I bought it too high. Okay, but anyway, I thought I'd set up a short bot on sand and let, and trade the sand that way. So I figured uh, I can kind of kill two birds with one stone here. Show you how to set up a short bot and um, get some trades in the sand for this. Um, so I've got 368 sand in my spot wallet. Um, learn and trade promo, okay, which is sand. So you go to free commerce and create a bot, okay. And I'm going to do, uh, I like to call it sand, uh, BUSD. So I'm going to sneeze, sand, BUSD, and then short. <coughs> oh, dear me. Okay, and then you choose the pair. So that's just giving it a name. Sometimes I'll, I'll add in some more stuff actually later, but I need to just um, get the right pair first. So sand, BUSD. Okay. And st strategy is a short bot. I'm going to take the currency, I'm going to take the profit in BUSD, but if you want, if you prefer, you can take the profit in sand. I'm just going to keep it the lowest for now. And my uh, start order limit. Okay. And then I'm going to add in some conditions, the uh, trading conditions. So if I go here, I go to RSI. And I'll do that on 15 minutes. So on the 15 minutes, it's got to be above um, 70, okay, in order to um, start. Okay, so it's, it's the deal start conditions, okay. So when the RSA is high, so in other words, uh, when it's more likely to sort of come down, it's going to start trading. Um, Okay, and then I've got some other conditions. And I, what I can do is I can also put in, hold on a minute, I can put in cumulative. So in other words, both these conditions have to be met. So if you don't put cumulative, I think then just either condition has to be met. So by putting trading view cumulative, I think that's right anyway. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Take profit, I'm just gonna put it at really low because I just want to get the trades in. Let's just see how that goes anyway. Do I want to really know? Oh, let's try and get a half decent profit anyway. 0.5%. And the next uh, order, 20. I might up this in a bit, but I'm just seeing where we stand at the moment. Okay, so maximum safety trades. So this is basically the levels. The more levels you put in, the bigger the percentage okay so the balance we're going to use sand when you do when you when you short you need the actual coin okay when you're long you need busd or usdt depending on what you're trading but when you're shorting you actually need the coin because what you're going to do is when 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 it starts trading it will sell it straight away okay um the idea is it sells it and then it buys it back at a cheaper bit cheaper price so if it sells it at two and it sell, uh, buys it back at 1.9, let's say, then you're going to make a kind of profit. So you can buy the same amount back at a lower price. So that's kind of how shorting works. And if price starts going up, um, it starts buying more. Okay. Uh, one minute, it starts going up. You know, it sells it. Okay, sorry, it sells it. But then it creates a buy order so that when it does dip, it buys all of that stuff back at a cheaper price. Okay, so maximum safety order. So the more safety orders in, the higher percentage. So what this is saying is the price deviation of 5% from, from the price. Okay, uh, and that's all you can cater for. 5% is obviously nothing in crypto. You want it to be much higher. You want it to be sort of, a 40% swing maybe or something like that. So I want to try to get it up to that kind of level with the amount of sand I've got. So let's just put in 15. So that gives me 15%, obviously. <clears throat> so 
let's put in 20. Okay, and then if I change this, this is where it will really start taking off. So it's gone up to 40 now. Safety order step scale. Um, okay. Safety order volume step scale. Okay. That's a lot of safety trades in fairness, but 66 is probably too high. So let's see if I change these figures around. So what you want to do is kind of weight down safety order volume scales. So you could click on it, it says what it does. The safety order volume scale is used to multiply the amount of funds used by the last safety order that was created. Using a large amount of funds for the safety order allows your bot to be more aggressive at dollar cost averaging. So basically, it's like the pyramid there structure. It's making the pyramid fatter at the bottom. So it's buying more, a bigger amount, okay? Which is really, which is good. It means um, it it won't have to move as much. Um, I think. Let's see what changes that. Okay. So you can see by buying more, it costs a lot more sand. Okay, but by doing that, it should be able to get rid of it quicker. Okay. If we go to the table view, no, actually, go to the chart view. Let's just sort of see how things change. Okay, so you can mess about here. So let's have 0 0.5 and just see how much it changed. <laughs> Look at that. That's a massive change. Um, wow, a bit weird. A bit scary. Point one. So let's have a look at the chart for that. Okay, safety orders, used amount. So I want to try and take it up to my balance. So it's, I'm using 303 at the moment. So I want to keep uh, take it up as much to the balance as I can. So let's see this. Did that come down then? Oh, okay. Let's just check on this a minute. Enter the percentage difference in price to create the first safety order. All safety orders are kept from the price the initial base orders filled on the exchange account. Okay, so the lower the number really, I think the better. Let's look at the percentage. Okay. I think this kind of makes it tighter. Let me just have a check. Actually, let's look at the table. Price. Price deviation. Yeah. So you can see there the price. The less the price deviates, the more sales you're going to get. If you, if you watch this now, so if I change that to 0 0.5, okay, 0 0.5, and then I look at the table. So it's deviating a lot more. Okay, so in other words, the price doesn't have to move as much downwards or upwards, whatever way you're doing long or short bots. Uh, to make the sales, okay, the, 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 the closer the price is to, together. Okay, so it's 308 to 359. Let's just show that table. So 308 to 318. So in other words, if it doesn't move that much <clears throat> on a certain asset, that's kind of better. But obviously with crypto, they tend to move around a bit more. But in theory, if it went sort of up, you could get a lot more safety orders. And so if it went from 308 to 318 and didn't come down any to hit, 
any safety orders coming down, then hmm. <clears throat> this is not a bad idea actually, uh, going forwards. Okay. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's have a look. So it's only twenty percent, twenty percent change. Look at the table, three hundred eight. So it moves sort of uh, about two units a time. You see difference. So the higher the figure, the thing is, when you have a higher figure, it's less likely to sell. It's got to, it's harder for it to come down. Okay, but you're covering a higher deviation from the start, from your start price. See now, look, uh, 308, 311, so it's three points difference. Three and a half points kind of thing. So you see here, when you go through more safety orders, it's hard for it to come back. So here, four points it's got to cover. So if you go up higher, you see, look here, between these two safety orders, it's like six points difference. So it's got to come back six points. Or, you know, you either long or short. Uh, <clears throat> and that's why this figure is quite important. Um, so what you could do, put in more safety orders, reduce this figure. But is it going to change 40 percent so it's at three dollars so it's got to get to 450 kind of thing so if you just kind of went straight up to four dollars fifty without coming back any then that's when you that's when you've got problems i don't think things are gonna I don't think it's gonna do that at the moment let's put in 20. okay so Safety order step scale. The safety order step scale is used to multiply the price deviation percentage used by the last safety order placed on the exchange account. Using a larger value here will reduce the amount of safety orders your bot will require. Yeah, okay, but this makes the, the difference bigger. So you want a kind of, so if you put in two, for instance, okay, you see how it goes up to silly numbers. Okay, so 1.6 and again, silly numbers. 1.157. Okay. If you look at the table for that, let's have a look. So here you see you're getting a gap of seven, say. So the gap between the price is much bigger, it's in increasing. Okay, the gap between the safety orders is bigger, and therefore. You're less likely to fill them as you go further up. So this is a, this is always a balance when you're creating bots. Of, of, of these figures are really critical. Ideally, you've got an infinite amount of money and you can just create really small gaps. That would be the ideal situation. Have loads of safety orders, and then you're basically doing lots of orders all the time. Okay, um, that's what you can kind of do. That's what a lot of people do with grid bots, for instance. It's a similar kind of thing. So I don't really want this big figure here. Uh, 20%. Let's do 15. Oh, let's make this a little bit bigger. Oh, no, no. Let's make this smaller. I mean. Oh, hold well on, what have I done? Oh, right, because I haven't got a figure in there. No, I really want it to be sort of in the 30%, really. You don't want it like 15%. Oh, some dog's in trouble. So it really is a matter of just messing about with these figures until you're happy. Let's get the bottle up more. And then
Uh, hmm. Okay, let's go for 30 safety orders. What the heck? That's a lot. See that price, uh, it's just too big. Six, just too big. Looks like Ludo is in trouble. Okay, let's go for that. Sorry about taking for absolute ever. But uh, okay, so he's only trading 10. Okay, I'm not quite up to the thing. So let's, uh, let's try and get it a bit more, I guess. Bring that down. There we go. It's a bit better. Okay, and then I just do put in 10, 20, because that's what my uh, base order is. Base order 10. Great bot. Let's go for it. I mean, the object is really just to get a little bit of trading in, I guess. So I'm not that bothered. It makes much profit. Uh, just get some trades in. Now, the other thing to do is make sure that you've got some, um, the first order, by the way, the first order that it creates will, um, will you'll have to pay for it because it, it, it's like a, it's like a market order, the first order usually, I think, although I have said, yeah, that's if you do a new trade as soon as possible. Um, I think sometimes so it does do market orders for the first trade. So let's make sure I've got enough BNB. Drains blocks outside, apparently. Great. Okay, BNB. I've got two dollars. That's enough to be honest with you. Oh, I've got seven dollars. That's easy enough. It's only a small amount. Okay, let's stop that. <laughs> 